Hi everyone, welcome to another dev update and this is for the latest 5.8 patch note which will be released this Tuesday, so this Tuesday the 17th of August. So this will be a rework for skill tree, new spells, rework inactive prestige, port of gold, rework sign of march and everything else. So if you're wondering what all the lovely names are below, these are all the lovely people that have subscribed to this channel over the last seven days, so thank you very much. If you want to support the channel or just see your name on the next video, click the red button. Thanks. So today uh, it would say that the um, skill trees that would be, be reset during uh, the maintenance, it will be a free reset for the next update. So you can have a chance to test out all the bills. Sometimes it's discounted, but at the moment, because they're changing the build so much, it's free. So go nuts and try out all the builds. If you're unsure about what builds to use, uh, normally MMLH or Parrot have the Google Sheet optimized and update it. As soon as they're updated, I'll let you guys know. You can use the pre previous videos I've made about how to use those Google, Google Sheets. Uh, they will be uh, normally a direct link to them, so it should be updated. If there's any changes whatsoever, I'll let you know of a new video. So new content. Knight skill tree changes is boost efficiency to chivalric order, uh, decrease skill point cost of rejuvenation, warlord skill tree, skill tree changes, so there's a little image for it, so there's this little bad boy there that we mentioned in the previous video, there has been um, a couple of move arounds I think, but it's mainly that one that they've added, and that's the old Voltic cells, so you've got Astral Awakening, all hero damage plus clan splash skip, Anchoring shot, Titans to be stunned before your clan ship damage is dealt, and the thundering ship damage plus thundering volley damage and thundering ship duration unlock the thunder ship spell. Uh, the uh, thunder uh, volley damage has like a cool effect where it does like a beam of light. Uh, I did show a picture of that, or it shows that in the previous dev update videos. So watch that video if you want to see it. Uh, source of skill tree change, decrease skill point cost of eternal darkness, rogue skill tree changes, so this is this one, so it's a target system, so the one in the middle is a target system and the one at the bottom as well, and this is skill tiers rearranged, so as you said the master thief is now there, so it's tier 2 not tier 1 and that has been moved and a couple movements as well from there and there, so uh, this Stroke of Luck, Companion, Deadly Strike Damage plus Deadly Strike Boost, Deadly Focus, Deadly Strike Damage per Multicast plus Deadly Strike Max Multicast. Poison Edge will be applied before Dagger's Damage is dealt. Weak Point Throw, so this is Blade Storm Damage plus Blade Stream Duration, unlock the Blade Stream spell. That's a new thing. Again, see the previous video if you want to see a little animation of it. Dagger Storm, Blade Stream Target Damage plus Dagger Cooldown, Mark of Death. That's a targeting thing. Uh, blade stream dagger damage sorry, per multicast plus uh, blade stream multi max multicast and master thief all dag all gold plus dagger uh, splash skip. Then you've got blade stream spell. That's a new one. Increase dagger damage. Spawns targets a boost dagger damage and add dagger splash count. Hitting several targets in a row fires a blade cycle for extra dagger damage and dagger splash count. Uh, power of swiping will cause any swipe daggers to home in in its target. Thundering ship spell, that's what I mentioned earlier with that uh, volley of light, this looks pretty cool. Increases clan ship damage, clan ship shot charges and uh, up thunder volley, and thunder volley deals increase clan ship damage. So, um, oh, there's a new mythic set. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna absolutely ruin the pronunciation of this. Uh, Jonalin. Um, the Deadly Flower Mythic Equipment Set. So it's times two blade stream target splash count, blade cycle damage, and prestige relic bonus. So that's the uh, blade, more to do with the rogue tree on that one. Uh, it's a basically mythic set for the rogue tree. Uh, chef. Uh, sorry, Chef. <laughs> Chief. <laughs> I'm so bad. Do you know what? I'm not even going to bother editing out my b bad reading and pronunciations today. It's Friday the 13th. It's going to happen. It's an unlucky day. Uh, uh, mechanic legendary equipment set. Thundering ship damage and 1.5 times thunder volley charge speed. Then you've got the classic defender equipment set and that's all hero damage. So they're looking a bit of, looks like extra clan ship or going towards clan ship 
um, boost this time around, which is good. Increase raid Khan level cap from 50 to 60. Added 10 uh, new tier 4 raid levels. Nice. Uh, Fruit of Eden, Shimmering Oil, and Titan's Mark Mask Effects Enchantments. I don't see a cap increase yet. I hope there isn't. I haven't read all the posts yet. If there isn't a cap increase with all of this extra stuff, I'm hoping we can do a little push because you get three enchantments plus extra skills. You should be good to get at least, you know, a thousand, two thousand stages. Tournament Titan Lord theme park event begins. 50% more watermelons for tournament rewards. Dedicated fan. Uh, Groove Master and Surf Strike equipment set drops. Titan Land raid profile background. Cool. This is themed event. This is a bit different. So 100% skill resets. Go nuts. As I mentioned, if there's any update on any build guys, optimizers, tools to help you guys, uh, I will post it. If not, I would recommend to join my Discord. In my Discord, I've currently got a channel called... Um, let's find it. It is build testing 5.7 i know this is 5.8 but it's from then that the new skills was, was introduced so i might rename it just to uh build testing alpha or something uh but basically go in this channel and this is all the examples skill builds skill trees people exchanging comments and ideas plus in my general chat a lot of people chat and help and stuff like that so join my discord links in the description below uh so there would be mandatory skill reset during patch. Uh, if you want to remember your previous skill tree, remember to screenshot it before the patch begins on the 17th. Two times skill point time chest per promotion. So the promotion is skill points this time around. General changes. So improved inactive gold, prestige gold and port gold. So it gives one fairy gold, heart of Medas gold, boss gold and multi-spawn Chesterson gold drop. Inactive gold multipliers no longer apply. Uh, prestige gold multipliers still apply. Multi-spawn uh, removed from Silent March. So multi-spawn chance and a max multi-spawn count no longer speed up Silent March. Sneak count increased by roughly 10 times. Uh, so would that make it in improvement? It says improvement to inactive, but they've taken stuff off. Hmm, but they multiplied others. Would that outbalance it? Hmm. Replacement damage based enemy bosses uh, to clan raid tier 3 debuff. So you've got the armor damage to all armor health, uh, arm damage to arm armor health, leg damage to leg armor health, and torso damage to torso armor health. Uh, one coin mode. Do you know what? I haven't actually used the one coin mode. If any of you guys use the one coin mode, let me know in the comments. Um, and is it beneficial? Do you prefer it? Automatic collects the hand from dash tap gold coins. UI changes. Expand two tabs on the main screen and also added clarity to bear shop purchases and added clarity to uh, not enough funds panel. Now, with all these skill points, you probably notice it when the update comes out, we'll do a full up video because there will be a lot of changes to the uh, active skills. because You can only have six skills activated, but two more have been added. Oh, actually, I think three have been added in this update. So basically, there's not enough uh, panels to select your all, all your spells so uh, there's different variations and different things you can choose i will uh, show an update video on tuesday when that comes out exactly what i mean and go go through like examples of which spells will be beneficial and not for example like you wouldn't if you're doing a pet build you wouldn't be activating the heavenly strike and the pet uh tap one at the same time it's complete waste so things like that so i will explain it more on tuesday so stay tuned so, uh, diamond first purchase bonus. Receive 100% more diamonds on your first purchase of diamond pack. All players will be able to receive the first bonus bundle, even if you previously purchased diamond pack. Cool, I should be getting a bonus. Nice, I've already bought one. Clan raid preparation changes. Tier 10 minutes, tier 2, 6 hours, tier 3, 12 hours, and tier 4, uh, 12 hours. Nice, cool. Uh, clan purge protection. Limit the number of kick knights and captains can do in a single time. Limit how often players can rejoin uh, same clan after being kicked well, that's quite a clever idea solo raid fast travel shown on clan solo raid leaderboard uh, raid attack incomplete notification notifies if you raid attacks remaining in the last hour of the cycle raid that will be pretty cool actually to be notified you got still got attacks left because people because of the new update uh normally if you miss your attacks that's it but now they you've they've extended it so if you missed it you can do it but still people been extra lazy and completely missed it anyway i don't know if because it's 
it's because of that or not i don't know but it's i've just seen a couple of people in clans have like i don't know like have eight hits but they by the, by the next round they've only done seven out of the eight or done six out of the eight and i'm like what are you doing what are you doing discord uh raid seed export click for example of output so view information about all raids in accessible file uh, view raid seeds on Tuesdays before they go live. Go to do Game Hive Discord for more information. First raid seed export will go live sometime next week and server maintenance is completed. Oh, interesting. Spawn sequence, tier 4, level 1, name, no jack. Uh, HP, oh, it does HP. Oh, man. See, I don't know, I don't actually don't know about much about this code and stuff, but I can imagine people being um, using that in their Discord Um mods and bots discord bots adding that coding in so pre pre prep you and let you know but i'd be very very just uh very beneficial what did discord say so that was announcement several oh, i've got to find it i've got to find it i'll do it next time once i know a bit more information about that in the next video i'll explain it uh stats panel changes blade stream damage dagger splash skip dual summon damage and thunder ship damage added a second start and pet to all abysmal tournaments Shimmering Blacksmith Abyssal Tournament changes. 95% craft and power cost. Improve artifact pools. Spell Swarming is now available until 99% of max stage. Tweak Deadly Strike multicast values. A very slightly reduced dagger cooldown multiplier. And there's loads of bug fixes. I'm not going to go through the bug fixes because it's quite a lot. I'm, do you know what? I'm surprised. Um, yeah. None of them have been major system ones. Like, yes. These there's a lot of bug fixes, but I've never had people saying like, um, like they can't play it or is actually broken their game or system since last update. So, yeah, I don't know how bad of an impact it's been. Let me know if you've had any bad bugs or problems with your updates or you know with the latest updates. Um, I like to know feedback so I can feed it back to these people. So it says thank you for reading it all. I'll leave a link to this dev update in the, in the comments if you want to have a read yourself. Uh, they will be doing on during maintenance. They normally go live. It looks like they're doing that as well. So Lemmy will be live. I'll see if I can pop in as well, say hi. But apart from that, yeah, a lot of changes. I believe there's still more skills and changes coming up. I don't think that's the end of it. I believe there'll probably be another one maybe more i don't know what they're gonna do after that so that'd be unknown territory but uh yeah i let me know what you guys think it's always good to know which um build you like in not like in a pet build seems to be op at the moment but clanship has got the feeling it's gonna be coming back so let me know what builds you're preferring uh, apart from that i hope you have a lovely friday the 13th and again if you want your name featured um, below or just want to support the channel hit that red button i'm trying to hit 10k by the end of the year so my mummy is proud of me and don't think i'm a disappointment but i'll make mummy proud mummy souls uh, anyway have a lovely rest of the weekend and see you next time take care